sorry. Available for weddings, say, uh, bar, mitzvahs, bar mitzvahs even, bar, uh, bar mitzvahs. funerals, Anything. and uh, we, uh, baptisms uh, of fire. <laughs> baptisms uh, of fire. <laughs> Fire. So welcome back uh, <laughs> to Anderson's TV. Holy smokes, man. Holy smokes. Uh, and today we are uh, excited because uh, the lovely people at... Um, this is, might take a little bit of explaining, this bit, but as you probably know, Fender Corporation don't just own and make Fender <gasps> guitars. What? They own other brands too. <laughs> no! Um, and today we are honing in on what those brands have got new for 2021. So we've got some stuff from Charvel. Oh, and some stuff from Charvel. <laughs> and some stuff from Charvel. We'll have videos on Jackson, uh, including some very exciting new Japanese made Jackson bits and bobs. Um, and to, to, to not miss that stuff, you have to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. You don't necessarily have to like it. You can dislike it, but you still have to subscribe. <laughs> And, and hit the bell, hit the and bell. then pop up Banaris up uh, there in the corner. Our right? deep friend, deep friend, dear friend, <laughs> crikey. <laughs> oh, deep he could friend. be deep, I don't know. But he's a uh, dear man. friend. Rabir is joining us for some of the videos today. He's deep. Uh, and the other brand, of course, deep. is EVH, uh, the Eddie Van Halen brand. Yes. So um, stay tuned. And if you dive on over to our social channels uh, over the next few hours, there will be lots of lovely people from those brands live from America. Uh, so talking about Charvel, Jackson and EVH. And you'll be able to dive on, ask questions and they'll answer them. I is hope. That, is that makes um, Miss Jackson? I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's this is start your favorite combination. with the six string guitars here. Now, this beautiful guitar is called a Pro Mod SoCal. So we've seen the SoCal kind of thing before, it means basically it's got the scratch plate on it. Um, but here's where there are some new cool features on this guitar. HSH pickup combination mm. using Seymour Duncan distortions in both the neck and the bridge and an SSL6, I think, like a single coil pickup in He's, the middle. Seymour is Duncan 1000 in. series Floyd, uh, Alder body, um, maple neck and fretboard on here with obviously the locking nut. If you want an ebony fretboard, they basically do this guitar in a beautiful blue called Robin's Egg Blue coming on the screen now. Other than the it's ebony board name. and the color, it's all the same specs. Um, you heard in the beginning, I had tons and tons of this distortion on it and all that kind of stuff. So I've switched that off now. How in tune are we? Perfect. It's all right, yeah, it's all right. Okay. So neck pick up on its own. Then position four, it says it's these two pickups here, but with no coil split. I mean, it sounds like there's a coil split, but the spec's pretty implicit that there's no, it doesn't really? mention it. So. That definitely sounds like a coil split yeah, to me. Yeah, I would have thought so, but the spec suggests that the coil split only happens here, but who knows? Is there a pull, pick push, up? pull? Uh, these two, and this is definitely where the, the humbucker is split. It might be a little bit more quacky on on that position too, and then the back pickup. That needs gain. Yeah. So on the board, what I had on for that opening bit was loads of pedals. I think stacked into each other. So it was a it was a boost from the Dane into the light speed into the Zen Ray. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> some delay. So you guys know I'm not, lovely. I'm really not a shredder, uh, but I can tell you now, you know, the Charvel necks that they put on these guitars are so, so comfy. It's like, obviously the origins of this kind of guitar are modified Fender Strats. Um, yeah. And so you've got a very kind of familiar, maybe a little on the thinner side, but a pretty familiar C shape on the back 
Nice rolled fingerboard edges, completely satin finish, so it really feels played in. But this is where it feels very different to a, um, a traditional Fender Strat, is, is the fretboard's going from a 12 inch radius at this end, uh, and it's contouring up to a 16 inch radius. So it's getting very, very flat by the time you get up this end. And that does change the vibe, you know, bends, the action can be a little lower. Um, it's got a graphite reinforced uh, truss rod or graphite reinforced neck, sorry. Um, and the uh, sort of the easy to adjust truss rod wheel at the end here. So real player's guitar. I mm. uh, can't decide if I like the, I think I probably like the blue with the ebony board as a color combination better. But look, these aren't for the faint hearted when that. it comes to colors, In are they? Face. So, you know, slime green is cool. Robin's egg blue is cool. And uh, sadly, because we don't have the guitar here today, but I'm going to flash one up on the screen because 100% we'll be doing this demo soon. They've introduced a new Telecaster shape as well. Yes. Uh, and Robin you know, Reliant green. In, yellow. <laughs> in, in Robin Reliant yellow. No, in, uh, again in the Robin's Egg that blue. Would be brilliant. Uh, and that's, I believe, Fluence loaded. Uh, specs are on our website if you want to read more, but don't have one here to show you, I'm afraid. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, 800 quid, just over 800 quid. I mean, yeah. it's packed packed full of goodness this guitar yeah it's, it's really tough to you know tough to really critique it um uh, obviously you know it's it's a subjective as to whether or not you like this style of guitar but in terms of value and playability and build quality next to impossible really to, to sort of level much criticism at a guitar like and this, you know what i'm thinking price. as well on this that is it's because it's probably routed for hsh you can just put another scratch plate on it and have a uh, single coil and a, and a humbug on the back, you know. If you want so you, to. It's, it's, a, it's a great mud guitar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what's quite nice as well, the fact that obviously Charvel is owned by Fender, it means there's no problem with headstock, you know, you've, you've got, headstock you've got the headstock, headstock yeah. that, you know, it's not like an imitation of a Strat. It is yeah. a Strat headstock. Yeah. Same with the body, all the contours. Um, it's it's the are. original. You know, OG. It's the original, Rod. yeah, so for me cow. anyway, of yeah. those hot rodded Fender strats from the sort of late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Mr. Pete, anyway, this that is color a damn is fine probably... looking base. So, so they brought out these, um, th there's three, there's two four strings and two five strings, uh, which are on the screen now in some delicious uh, colors. All roast, oh, no, it's not roasted, it's called caramelized. I think caramelized and roasted it, yeah. is the same. But if I'm wrong, Please comment below furiously. Um, but Does I it smell think it's like caramel. A, it's another word for. It does um, smell a bit like caramel. Or maybe uh, that's just my fingers where I had them earlier. It's, it's worth pointing out that these guitars we've got from Chavel Jackson, Gretz, and all that are uh, basically one off prototype kind of things. So we've got them first to look at. So if you're noticing little stickers on there, or whatever, that is because they are They're the, the only ones. They're yep. the only ones. Uh, so. Does yours smell like fruit no. and nuts? No, it just it smells. <laughs> it just smells like a guitar. So, all the body, maple neck, uh, cooler truss uh, adjustment, truss rod adjustment, same as yours, same reinforced neck, um, high mass bridge, which is going through there, not through the body. Oh, it's, um, it's a string through the bridge. It's a, not it's a bridge the body. string through. As you can see, it's a PJ uh, pickup configuration. So you got the. Uh, you know, I'm not a bass player, but I'm just, I just dabble. You got the uh, the um, precision and then the jazz pickup are they, down are here. Are they a Charvel brand? They are called, they're are actually they... called DP uh, they? 20, 122 and 123. But they're Charvel own brand. Yes, they are. They're, they're Fender and, and Charvel are sold. Um, and then it's, it's quite cool because it is a um, an active circuit uh, with, a, with a volume for each pickup, volume, volume, and then a three way. Uh, EQ with your treble, middle, and bass. But if you pull this, it's a passive. It's a passive. It doesn't do anything to the circuit, which I'm going to demonstrate now. Plugged into the uh, Fender Should Rumble. Should we take the distortion off the Rumble? I have taken the oh, distortion already, off. Well I was done. over there going like that. Like that, you know. What I is can... that? A rumble? What? It's, rumble... A, it's a rumble 40. Is that all? You are, that yeah. is a naughty, <laughs> loud great. little bass. They're awesome and they're watts. light. They're really light. Whoa. And that's plucked straight You've into the DI. Out. That's what you're hearing. I've been working out. Not. Um, really slim neck here. Super, super slim neck. I mean, I've never played a bass with that slim of a neck. Um, jazz? 
jazz feeling width on looks here. Narrow. It looks narrow. I would say it, jazz narrow. I'd say jazz neck, but it's even narrower here. Even than thinner, yeah, you just, just touched my caramelized uh, neck there. See, that is very slim, isn't it? 12 to 16. The same super, idea, is it? Yeah, super flat, so you can get the... You want a bass player, always, they always want the strings super low. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I messed it up earlier. I said there was a volume for each pickup. Actually, the second one is a balance between the two pickups. I would have liked to ha have a little notch there. There is a notch! <laughs> there is a notch! I didn't feel it first. There is one. Yeah, right I'm in the so middle. pleased for you. Uh, that's the one most exciting thing that's happened to me <laughs> today. It's like figuring out that well, there's no notch there. Are there there not, is a notch! Are there notches on the <laughs> EQ, on the treble, middle and bass controls? There is. Wow, it's so exciting. So if you put all those in the notch... But it's... It's, it's a bit faint, is it? It's... it's oh, I love these. These look good with a little gold thing in there. I do love for hitting a notch, don't you? Is there not a good feeling when you're going? Well, I think as guitar players, we don't have notched knobs enough. No, we need so to when have you, them when on. you get them on a bass, it's like an exciting thing. For and you us. know what? I really like these. I wish more guitars would have these knobs on them. What, the chrome I, ones? They just feel good. They feel nice to feel. Though that's too square. It's these a little round, yeah. right? Um, so anyway, let's go uh, passive on this pickup. Okay. And then let's go back to the J's. Let's go in the middle. And of course you can blend in the front pickup. Or you can blend in the back pickup. And you get that snap, right? Yep. Ah. And you're all on the passive mode there, um, are you? This is all passive, so wow. uh, I can demonstrate that by going in the middle and then going. They don't do anything, do they? These small knobs are much more familiar to me. <laughs> <laughs> But they don't do anything now. But here's here's it's the, even more here's familiar. The, it's even more familiar. They, they feel familiar, and and when I when I <laughs> fiddle with them, do they just anything. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> but if I hit this back in, you get much more. It's a little bit, but then then if I go, you get that active pickup. That's, That's the, the treble. treble is it? All the way down. Whoa. Uh, man, there's a <laughs> you, it's it's a bass. Uh, here's the middle. And here's the middle all the way down. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's the longest bass demo ever. <laughs> it this is. One. It's, well, fine. This is, it's all good. This is. It's funny how they can do really short bass videos on uh, <laughs> when they do bass videos. Here is the bass uh, knob.
Nathan, all with you. I'm sure. I'm was, sure gonna, all the kids gonna... will play Overdrive on it, but with it. Well, but it's just. I mean, the colors are super cool, and it so it's a five, plays... two five strings, two four strings. Do we know how much they and are? And the colors, uh, they are from about eight twenty eight fifty nine to nine twenty nine. Okay, so, so similarly uh, priced to the guitars. Price. It's a similar price to the guitars. Cool, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure if you get the gig bag with it, but um, because the it's still so new. Tell you. But Google is your friend, ladies and gentlemen. There's a little cavity. For the Energizer the Indus, 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 Indus Scottish bass player. I love these, man. I think they're cool, and I think they play nice, and my fingers are not hurting, which is a great... Mr. Uh, Pete. Yes, Mr. Lee. You have that. I'll have that. Holy no. And uh, <laughs> Because I kind of feel like... You know, people need to hear what um, I'll aim it at you a bit. What this can do, what this can do, sorry, without you know me playing my ham fist. Actually, I'm not going to aim it at you. I'm it. just going to aim it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. thank you very much for staying uh, with us here, and please dive on over to the social channels again. I expect there'll be some links below here. Perhaps you've got a question you want to ask one of the guys from Charvel about that guitar or this bass. And uh, anyway, Pete is going to play us out. I'm going to um, do a loop. He's going to do a loop, and it's going to be great. It's going to be epic. Peace.